Okay. Now I'm okay. I've given you some really good stuff. Now here's my award for the clunker <laughs> award. Okay. Um, that uh, this these guys were making some hay, and I got to meet with them. And this is off their their. This is what I thought going in, and and nothing they did in the meeting dissuaded me. Uh, new site reality. They're talking about see through. I get this all the time. Why don't you, if you're doing see through AR, why don't you just do a see through micro LED? Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of which, you may have heard uh, Mojo Vision uh, just said that they're not going to do the contact lens. I think we may have talked about that a yep. little bit. And Mojo Vision just announced that they're only going to do LEDs, micro LEDs. They, they've given up on the contact lens, <laughs> which was always to me nearly a con. I just yeah. never. There's so many problems beyond the physics with that. Yeah, that it was never happening. Right, and why they raised. They they raised two hundred and four million dollars, and it fails like fourth you know high school physics. <laughs> the, the people who this is one of my big frustrations in the industry. We know like 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 uh, look at Cherry Ellsworth with Shell Five, effort she does, how hard she works, and and they're actually building stuff. They're actually selling stuff. Yeah, and they have hard times raising money, and some of these VCs shower money on on really things that, that they, I don't know what kind of due diligence they do, but it, it, it's criminally bad. Yeah. It, um, oh God. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And I say criminal in a joking sense. I'm not a lawyer, <laughs> nor do I play one on TV. Um, anyway, but new side reality, the problem you have is if you're looking through something like this and I don't care how small there's a thing called diffraction. And this is something ordinary people, people who have dealt in optics don't have a full appreciation for but diffraction is one of the really dirty words that messes you up. Basically, when you when light when light passes an obstruction, it gets bent. That's how diffraction works on those waveguides and all. Yeah. Well, the problem is that these little dots, and they're not that little, have an effect that's much bigger than them. Now, I will say you can actually see an image in there. It's just like you know, you can hold the mojo vision up to your eye. Yeah. Or you can hold this up to your eye. And yeah, you can see an image in it. They have little micro lens. There's a little lens over each one of those. Things. Oh wow! And yeah, and you can actually see an image form. The problem is, it's a discontinuous image. It's little spot that you see. It's like an image where you see little circles of image uh, forming a whole image. And when you look, if you turn it off and you look through the real world, you see a bunch of black dot of uh, very out of focus black dots. Right. And the problem that's that's your fu- that's your fundamental physics problem. I just don't believe it has a ch- you know I, I just don't believe it has a chance of working. Now what they're doing is neat. I, I told them you know well I, I think that th- that what they're doing is neat. There may be other uses for this type of technology, but forget the see through part. It's just never going to work. Mm-hmm. Um, this this and- concept almost looks like just from like first glance, like looks like it would be so expensive to do for like the quality you would get out of it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're probably going to go after the military. They figured if Mojo Vision could sell, get, get rate $240 million, they could get a hundred million. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's to me fundamental. It, the physics just kill you. You can't have anything see-through. Like people will look at those. Um, you've seen the see-through all LEDs like in showcases. Yeah. They've done these things where they build a big one. Well, the difference there is, the, you take an LED that size, make them 10 times or 20 times as far apart, mm-hmm. and you're farther away from it, you won't see them. They're little right. tiny specks, and there's many. But when you make them so small that they're right up against each other, you're going to see them. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's just no way around it. Um, I'm friendly. I like I like it. This, this is somewhat related because of uh, uh, Lutton AR. They have the thing with the little mirrors in front of your eyes, and uh, they they they've got a they have a neat thing, and it it works. They produce an image, but it uh, it reminds me of that. So this is the best picture I have to show that effect. Uh, they were also at the show. Uh, the picture on the left from the show, the picture on the right I took at CES a few years ago. But you can kind of see maybe how it, you know, particularly in this area over here. You see how it gets darker and lighter. Yes, for sure. Yeah, and so that's that's your problem. There is that you you get this darker and lighter effect um, as you go from you hop. 
Uh, there's, there's a lot of physics involved, but basically there's no way. I don't know that any way to make these mirrors. Now, they've tilted these mirrors more. They make it better than it used to be. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really hard to do this with, with certainly with a mirror. It's, it can't be anything that totally blocks light because the effect you get is not just the size of the dot, but the size of the dot plus any diffraction around it. So that's that's kind of where that is. So how, I'm, how do they tunnel the light to the mirrors, or the, is the where's the displays on these? Oh, it, it, very interesting. They actually put it up here. Okay. It actually does a kiss or two off of the glass. It does a TIR. You know, when you hit glass at a very steep angle, it will yep. stay in the glass. It bounces once or twice, and then you'll see there's a mirror. You see that little wedged down at the bottom yep. the curved thing at the that, bottom yep. that's a mirror hmm. that column that focuses the light a little more so there there's kind of like an it's it's like the pin mirror helps because the pin mirror is rejecting out of focus light rays but not enough to make it in this space so what they're doing is this is acting a little bit like in your bird bath and your other optics this is a this is going to help focus the light a little bit because this is way too close to your eye a display here if it just bounced and no magnification no optics it would you wouldn't it would be out of focus so you're trying to move it out to two meters so you're moving it out some here and then the pin mirrors are rejecting some more of the light so the combination gotcha. of those two things together gets you an in-focus image it's probably the image actually has a fairly high depth of focus because each of those pin mirrors. by the way this is almost the definition of um we talk about um pupil replication or um what you're actually doing is if you looked in each of those mirrors, you're going to see a lot of the whole image mm -hmm. uh, that's overlapping. So what when, when each of these guys is actually replicating the image, but as you get out to here, like in the center, all those mirrors in the center are almost replicating almost the exact same thing. As you move to the sides, they're replicating the whole image more of the left side of the image or that one side. And then that they move to the left, they move the other side. But this is, this is pupil replication okay. uh, taken to the extreme. If you made those mirrors teeny, teeny, tiny, and did all that stuff, you start to approach what the fraction waveguides do. Right. Uh, they're, they're pupil replicating, but they're at an extremely fine scale. Um, and let um, Loomis does kind of a different method of pupil replication, but uh, these are fairly discreet. And, and whatnot. But anyway, yeah, it works by a couple of kisses off the glass to hit this mirror. This mirror then directs it up to the um, to the um, pin mirrors that then, and these are at an angle and they cut, they hit them to your eye. Okay. Part of the trick of this kissing off the glass in this mirror that they talk about is so they can make these mirrors tilt more. The more they can kiss off and come in at a shallower angle, the shallower the mirrors can be and therefore, the smaller they appear when you look straight through them. 